morning everybody. Thank you for uh, joining me once again. Today we're out on a new adventure. Uh, we are at a Civilian Conservation Corps in uh, central Pennsylvania. Uh, I contracted the uh, district forester and secured permission uh, to uh, detect here. This was the Sand Spring CCC camp. It ran from 1935 to 1937. Uh, my understanding is they primarily were responsible for building a lot of roads uh, that were up here in the mountains. Um, I'm sure they did a lot of other activities. and uh, So it ran for two years. I'm going to uh, start with the Mylan Vanquish uh, 540 uh, with the V8 coil. And we're just going to look around and see what's here. Hopefully we find something that dates back to the period that it uh, was being run as a camp. Uh, now they have uh, some camping spots here. Uh, across the field is the Boy Scout camp I was at. So let's uh, see what's here. Let's get started. Thank you for joining. Please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. You can see that this area is all grown up now. We got trees all around. Uh, looks like some pine trees and possibly oak. Uh, there are foundations over here, and that's where I'm headed to. Uh, we're going to see. I don't have a map of the facility, unfortunately. I wasn't able to find that when I did some research online. I did find their old camp newspapers, though, dating back to uh, the time that this was active. So there are a couple foundations left. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure what they were to, which building was which, but we'll see if anything's here. Okay, I'll see you on the next, oh, excuse me, I'll see you in the first hole. All right, on our first target here, we're getting a 1617. Now, I might not normally dig that, but since I'm kind of looking for relics also, we're going to see what it is. Okay, the first target, we are hitting on uh, just some hot rocks, so... Uh, it's interesting to know. Uh, maybe it's from, uh, maybe they had a fire right here. Or maybe a camper did. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, I'm over here by a small foundation now. And I'm getting a signal ranging from 19 to 25. Uh, I don't know if it's more hot rocks, but let's uh, dig it and take a look. Part of another nail. So, all right, on to the next. Okay, on this next one, I'm getting a between a six and an eight. Again, we might not always dig that, but I'm really looking for anything here that could point back to when this was a conservation uh, camp, uh, CCC camp. So let's dig it. We'll see what it is. Looks like some foil, but let's see if it's possibly old. Uh, I, don't see any, I don't see any writing on it. A couple inches down, just foil. On we go. Okay, and that hole was just this circular object that is all rusty and cannot even make out what it was. And that could have even been a bottle cap for all I know. Uh, but that's what it was and this uh, hot rocks are still setting off my pin pointer all over the place so that might be difficult for the rest of the hunt. But we'll see. On to the next. Right here it looks like whatever this uh, building was, which it may have been a dorm, right here is the doorway. Uh, we're gonna keep going around uh, the outside here and see if we find anything. On we go. I was getting a 18, 19, 20 signal and it's a penny 
but it's not a weedy, and it's not from this period, so it's just a memorial. Somebody dropped, looks like from the 80s. Keep on going. On this one, we're getting a, we were getting a very solid 15, 13, 14, 15, 6 inches. Let's check it out. Well, this has been in the ground for a while, but I don't think it's from the 30s. Um, I think it's just a, maybe from the 80s, some kind of advertising pen. It says Brothers Company Roll Plant, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So I don't think it's period, uh, but it's uh, probably from the 80s. But we'll look it up and put it in a video if we can find anything. All right, on we go. What the fork? Well, we just pulled this out of the ground. I know this isn't period. Stainless steel, Marcrest, stainless steel USA. So I don't know what the fork is going on around here, but this is not period either. Probably dropped by a camper. Who knows? On we go. It wouldn't be a hunt without uh, beaver tail. I was coming up, uh, I don't even know what it was. Low teens. Actually, I think it was something in here is giving me an iron signal. Running all metal, old jewelry with the uh, horseshoe kicked on. So there might be something else in the hole, but so far that's what we got. Now we're getting a sh shallow signal all over the place right here. So we'll check it out. I was getting a uh, iron signal here, a mixed signal actually bouncing all over. Pulling out this big uh, rusted, uh, maybe aluminum. Uh, I'm not sure what it would go to. Uh, or it looks like it's black. Maybe it was to a grill at one time. But that's just a guess. I really don't know what it's to. It's got uh, worked edges here, so it's man made on both sides. Like it might have been the lid to something also. It could have been the lid to a box. Right here next to this foundation. About two inches down, so I don't know what it was to, but and I also you're only guessing if it was to the period that this was a camp or not. I would guess it's not, but okay, on we go. I was getting a signal hovering around a, a low teens or sorry high teens, low twenties actually, but it was at times very solid. It's just a top of an old old can and a piece of uh, metal that was in the hole with it. Thought it was a nail, but it doesn't. I don't think it is. But it's all rusty, and I have jewelry mode with the horseshoe kicked on. So I should have heard a horseshoe, or I'm sorry, I should have heard an iron sound. I didn't. So I think one of my next videos might be a iron test of this Vanquish I have, and see if it's working right, because uh, everything rusty is coming up as a good signal. And uh, I don't know. It's old, but... Is it old to 1930s? Probably not. Don't know. On we go. I went back to the car to uh, get a drink and uh, do some regrouping. Grab the ace so, uh, now. We're going to take the ace out and see if it uh, falses on some stuff like the Vanquish was or not. So I'm getting a signal up to an 85 with the uh, ace here. Zero disc. And uh, looks like we got a tank grommet. Something like that. And on we go. I was chasing a bouncy signal with the Ace 400 and just pulled out another penny. Just a memorial. Not what we want, but we'll keep on going. I was getting a number bouncing around between the you know, mid 40s, uh, high 40s. Pulled this piece out. I don't think it's that old. It's not a uh, period, I don't believe, but I also don't know what it is. It uh, looks like it has contact points, possibly, like the inside of a uh, flashlight, maybe? But I can't say for sure. On we go. This signal was bouncing around as well and pulled out a some kind of a rifle casing. But then I started looking around and this looks like roof shingles. It's pliable, man-made. Now this could have been here from when the buildings were here. There's a whole bunch of it right here and it looks exactly like shingle material. Now, I've not seen pictures of these buildings when they were here, so I don't know if they had shingles, but I don't know why else this material would be up here. And I'm right next to a foundation. So that could be period. So that's good. All right, on we go. 
and a nice 85 solid bell sound, but just another uh, grommet of some kind. Just a metal circle, fold the detector. On we go. All right, well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, we're on our way home now, just about ready to get back in the car. My first time here, didn't really find anything that great. Uh, there's a foundation that I found on my way out that I didn't see when I was uh, detecting. So we're going to come back maybe another time, but maybe we won't, because uh, in this area we never seem to find anything. So I want to thank you again, and please take a moment to subscribe. Hope everybody has a great day and uh, happy hunting, and we'll see you next time.